Hello friends, welcome back to VFX Pipeline channel. In this video, I will show you very quick pro tip how you can create a dark mode inside your Python application. So guys, in my previous videos, I already showed how you can create beautiful user interfaces for your Python based application using PySci2 or PyQt and Qt itself is a very good and rich user interface library where you can create you know a beautiful front end for your application dark mode is very popular these days even all cgi and vfx softwares they all they are coming by in dark mode as you see maya houdini nuke blender they all are having this option to actually switch the gui mode to either in dark or in bright mode so here i will show you let me switch back to my screen so now this is a very simple app which i created last time and uh, for this demo i'm going to use this let me just execute this so here this is just simple app which is there is no gui dark mode and anything is not there okay here you can see it's all visible in white but as you know even if we are using something like obs studio here there is a very good you know uh, dark mode here so if you want to change or convert your GUI into dark mode, what do you have to do? I will show you two methods and uh, you can follow whatever you want. Okay, so let me just go back to the Qt designer and this Qt designer I used to create uh, this user interface. And if you don't know how to use Qt designer, please go to this I button and check out my playlist and all the videos which I created, how you can use Qt designer to make this uh, user interfaces uh, for your python applications here by default it's coming in white if you press ctrl r so it will show you the preview and this is the preview of your application as well it is in the uh, not in the dark mode right so first thing is you can go to your main window whatever your main window is you can just right click here and there is an option called change style sheet so in this style sheet you can apply colors here so for example let me just add a color and this time i want to add a background color and let's just create a little bit of gray kind of stuff okay so background gray and hit apply so once you hit apply you can immediately see the color is appl applied here but there are some other options where you want to make this, you know, the tab is in different color and all this heaters is in different color. So what you can do is go back to again, uh, sorry, the color. And here you can see there are other options like what border color and uh, left color, right color that you can actually pick according to your need. Uh, in my previous, uh, you know, uh, user interfaces i gone through all this stuff uh, all this uh, you know interface elements widgets step by step to create a you know decent look for my app so i can show you one pre-built app uh, this is style sheet which i created and let me just run this so this is a hqvfx dashboard uh, which we created for our internal application and here you can see uh, this dark mode and even if on hover it's turn on uh, this uh, this little yellow thing right so if you want to follow this and apply this what you can do is either you can go step by step based on your creative idea how you want to make your interface to look like you can just apply this style sheet here or you can use the pre-build this code i mean this style sheet i already uh get it and this is apply and immediately your ui will become a dark mode okay so this is one thing you can go to qt designer and just apply this uh you know style sheet inside qt designer and compile that so i just applied this and now let's see how uh, this looks in my uh, interface so let me go to my PyCharm and if I run this again, stop and rerun. So you will see still it's not, uh, this style sheet is not applied. So the reason is whenever you change the UI file, you need to convert this 
for using PYUIC. Okay, and if you don't know what is this, then you should follow my previous videos where I explain this clearly. So here I created an external tool called build UI. And again, if you follow my previous video where I clearly explain how you can build this external tool in my PyCharm video, that is also you can find in the I button build UI. So once I hit build UI and uh, for some reason, this is not exist here. Okay, no problem. What we have to do is go to file settings and tools, go to external tools. And this is the area where you can create your external tool for UI. We want to create a, uh, a external tool. So here you can put the name and uh, here you need to provide the pysite 2 uicexe So in our case, we need to find out where exactly is this. Let's go to development and I installed in my this virtual environment. So go to lib site packages and go to pyside and pyside 2 and in this pyside 2 this should be there not here okay let's just go to virtual environment scripts yeah here it is pyside 2 uic.exe let's just copy this path and put it here in the program okay so make sure this PySight 2 UIC is available in your system. And if it is not available, that means the PySight is not installed properly. So just install pip install PySight 2 and you are good to go. And rest of the setting is basically what is happening. Let me explain this. First, you need to call this PySight 2 UIC.exe and then the argument will be your file name and then use uh, this uh, minus sign hyphen O and then file name without extension dot py so here we will create this ui file to py file okay and the working directory is the where the file is stored so that's a basic rule let's hit apply okay main dot ui go to external tool and build ui so once you build the ui let's just hit this run again it is uh, nothing gonna change okay no problem let's just again see which is our file name so here is main.py but the thing is we did not save this that's why our ui is not changed let's just hit the save button now our ui file is saved right click external tool build ui okay now hit this play button and immediately you can see this our ui is turned into dark mode okay but now what happened is let's say if you want to create a switch where if user click and then this toggle will happen they can they can pick either dark mode or bright mode so for that let me just quickly add a button here in this ui okay so for now let me just add a push button and you can just place either checkbox or or radio button or whatever button that you want but for me it's just like a it will be just it will just toggle that okay so that's the idea so here uh change or maybe just use uh dark mode okay so this is the button that we want to create and just rename this push button dark mode so always it's a good idea to actually rename your buttons that is you are creating because when we when we code this button the backend logic for this that will be you know very helpful for us let's just hit save so now we have push button dark mode we created but we need to recompile this so let's just recompile this ui file so once we compile this ui file uh, let's just see if we have this accessible here so self dot uh, push button dark mode so we have this dark mode here then we need to uh, get that click event so click and then we need to connect and connect with change style self dot change style okay 
but change style we don't have any function called change style here so let me just add a quickly this uh, change style function here let's just create a new function diff change style and here in this change style uh okay so now here what we are using is we just use this style sheet here right but before I make this uh, dark mode button enable on and off, I would like to show you the another method, which is using just pip library. You can use another dark mode. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this first and hit apply. So let's just go back to the bright mode again and compile this UI. So UI is compiled. Now, if you want, if you don't want to go with this, uh, this method and you just instantly want to apply. So there is an interesting library available, which is Q dark, uh, sorry, where it is Q dark style. Okay. So to install that, what you have to do is go to pip install Q dark style. That's it. So once you execute this command, then this package, this, uh, all this uh, style sheet will be enabled for you. And this is for Qt. So, uh, no need to do any other thing. As you can see in this uh, documentation, as well as Qt4 and PySide uh, will not support anymore. But it's for PySide, PySide2, PyQt4 and PyQt5, QtPy and all these things are uh, fully supported with that. Okay. So, older version is, of course, it's... 23 and uh, nothing is going to support python 2 uh, fully i mean there will be a lot of issues so once you install this then you need to just import q dark style sheet and what you have to do is just self dot set style sheet and uh, then q dark style dot load style sheet pi side 2 because this is pi side 2 that which we are using let me just quickly show you how this works self dot set style okay so this is instead of set style let me just uh, rename this and give him very meaningful name set dark style dark style right that makes sense do refactor so all are changed already control alt l to lay out your code properly and then hit run media lab so it will start in uh, this uh, bright mode but once you click on dark mode it will change but once you hit this dark mode again nothing gonna change okay so this is again let's say very simple uh go we need to add a if and else statement so by default we need to provide like okay what is your style sheet so if you want your style sheet to be uh self dot dark mode equals to sorry spellings dark mode equals to true so we are creating a global variable here and so by default it's false basically so let's just create false okay and here we will say if not dark mode dark mode so if dark mode is not true then use this else self dot style sheet and remove this so put just empty one okay let's see if it is work right so it always toggle when toggle happen this will this will happen. but also one one thing that we need to do if it is not dark mode so that means now it's dark mode is there then it's self dot dark mode equals to okay let's just run this okay okay so logic wise you need to just carefully look at that so first your dark mode is false and if it is not uh, dark mode then apply this and else apply okay so once this dark mode is false and if we are setting this then we'll need to make this true and so since else if it is already true then what we need to do is just provide a blank style sheet so it will go back to default 
and change this dark mode to false again okay so with this i guess our dark mode should be on and off so with that you can easily add a toggle of uh, change the dark mode theme to whatever theme that you want and if you want some different colors so i already mentioned that you can create your own style sheets here which is you can go to change style sheet but it is you are having more flexibility here because if you just want to change the style sheet of this widget which is a tree widget here you can just simply go and change the style sheet and let me just add this style sheet here only for this so as you can see only this tree widget change into dark so here you in qt designer you will get more flexibility in terms of how you want to lay out your interface and uh, it's completely your idea your creativity how you want to present your ui but most of the ui that you see in the present days are all designed in uh, dark interface and this basically looks good and uh, the ui i i personally feel that black ui are more focused uh, so artists or even programmers they can just simply see the actual content which they are so even in this pycham id you can see this is in the dark mode we can just focus on the code which we are doing right now so two methods one is q uh, dark style and second one is the the directly in the qt designer okay i hope this will give you a better idea of how you can change uh, create a dark button inside your application still if you have any questions any doubts you can just uh, comment in this video i will reply and if you want to know more about python pyqt vfx pipeline then subscribe this vfx pipeline channel i will see you in my coming videos thank you guys